everyone. On behalf of Reggie and Kelly, I would like to thank you all for being here this afternoon, for making the journey or taking the time and for all the effort that it takes not only to be a part of this day, but to be a part of each other's lives. This wedding could not have happened today without the amazing community of people who have showed. <laughs> <laughs> Unwavering support of love to them this past year. Their proof is... <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're profoundly grateful for each of you being here today and for coming together to make sure that this wedding day transpired in such a harmonious way. They would also like to take a moment to acknowledge and remember those who are no longer with us. Kelly would like to take a special moment to remember her Granny Marie, who passed away recently, and know she would be at peace knowing how happy she is now. Reggie and Kelly, marriage is the promise between two people who love each other, who trust that love, who honor one another as individuals in that togetherness, and who wish to spend the rest of their lives together. It enables the two separate souls to share their desires, longings, dreams, and memories their joys and sorrows, and to help another lean into the discomforts and unknowns of life. <laughs> 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 so <all> personally, <laughs> um, A strong marriage also nurtures each of you as separate individuals and allows you to maintain your unique identity and grow in your own way through the years ahead. It is a safe haven for each of you to become your best self. As Reggie has said, there are three people in this relationship me you and us you are adding to your life not only the affection of each other but also the companionship and blessing of a deep trust you are agreeing to share strength responsibilities and love it takes more than love to make this relationship work if you ask couples who have a strong and abiding love what they like most about their partners many will say when they are with that person they don't have to pretend to be anything other than what they are. They are able to express themselves without fear of being judged or rejected. There is room in the relationship for both of them to be unique individuals. They are free to surrender to the vulnerability of true intimacy to be known and loved unconditionally. As Kelly would say, you must trust and believe. This is a statement important to both Kelly and Reggie and is one of the very things that got them here today through their challenges with the world state, leaning into the discomfort and embracing the unknown. They took a leap of faith last year after being separated for four long months at the start of the pandemic and only nine physical days together. They made a decision to bring Kelly here in the summer to play house, a visit that was only... <laughs> that was only supposed to be three weeks and was extended several times before going back to Canada in September. After two months apart, she returned again in November and here we are today. <laughs> There's a saying out there that when you know, you know, but it really is true. When you find that person, you do whatever it takes to make it work. And that is exactly how Reggie and Kelly have started out their union and will continue to do so going forward in their marriage. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. 
<laughs> we are supposed to meet the wrong people before meeting the right one so that when we finally meet the right person, we will know how to be grateful for that gift. Maybe. It is true that we don't know what we have got until we lose it, but it is also true that we don't know what we have been missing until it arrives. Maybe. The happiest of people don't necessarily have the best of everything. They just make the most of everything that comes along their way. Maybe. The best kind of love is the kind you can sit on a sofa together. <laughs> Thanks. You can sit on a sofa together and never say a word. Hold it together, Reg. <laughs> <laughs> and then walk away feeling like it was the best conversation you've ever had. Maybe you shouldn't go for wealth or looks as those can change. Go for someone who can make you smile because it takes only a smile to make a dark, dark day seem bright. Maybe you should hope for enough happiness to make you kind enough, trials to make you strong, enough sorrow to keep you human, and enough hope to make you happy. Maybe. Love is not about finding the perfect person. It's about learning to see an important person perfectly. Okay. So now we're going to do the vows. Let's see if we can get through this here. <laughs> okay. Reggie, do you take Kelly to be your wife? I do. Kelly, do you take Reggie to be your husband? I do. Okay, here's, here's the fun part. Try to follow along. <laughs> Reggie, please repeat after me. Kelly? Kelly. I believe in you. I believe in you. The person you will grow. The person you will grow. To be. To be. And the couple we will be together. And the couple we will be together. With my whole heart. With my whole heart. I take you as my wife. I take you as my wife. Acknowledging and loving your faults. Acknowledging and loving your faults. And strengths as you do mine. <laughs> and strength as you do mine. I promise to be faithful. I promise to be faithful. And supportive. And supportive. And to make our love and happiness my priority. And to make our love and happiness my priority. I will be yours. <laughs> I will be yours. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In failure and in triumph. In failure and in triumph. Lots of triumph. <laughs> I will dream with you. I will dream with you. Celebrate with you. Celebrate with you. And walk beside you through whatever our lives may bring. And walk beside you no matter what our lives may bring. You are my person. You are so my person. My love of my life. My my life. Today and always. Today and forever. Good job. We got you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go, Kelly. Please repeat after me. Reggie. Reggie. I believe in you. I believe in you. The person you will grow to be. The person you will grow to be. And the couple we will be together. And the couple we will be together. With my whole heart. With my whole heart. I take you as my husband. I take you as my husband. Acknowledging and loving your faults and strengths. Acknowledging and loving your faults and strengths. As you do mine. I promise to be faithful and supportive. I promise to be faithful and supportive. And to make our love and happiness my priority. And to make our love and happiness my priority. <laughs> 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 okay. I will be yours in plenty and in what? I will be yours in plenty and in what? In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In failure and in triumph. In failure and in triumph. I will dream with you. I will dream with you. Celebrate with you. Celebrate with you. And walk beside you through whatever our lives may bring. And walk beside you with whatever our lives may bring. You are my person. You are my person. My love of my life. All my life. Today and always. Today. Okay, good job. <laughs> There's still more. Okay, where's the rings? There you go. Okay. Your wedding ring is a symbol of your promise to one another. The ring, an unbroken, never-ending circle, is a symbol of committed, unending love. Reggie, as you place this ring on Kelly's finger, please repeat these words after me. 
This ring symbolizes my love for you. This ring symbolizes my love for you. And the commitments we made today. And the commitments we've made today. Kelly, as you place this ring on Reggie's finger, repeat these words after me. This ring symbolizes my love for you. This ring symbolizes my love for you. And the commitments we made today. And the commitments we made. Oh my God. Okay. Reggie and Kelly, I would ask that you always treat yourself and each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you together today. Be constantly grateful for this precious person who has chosen to make a life with you. Give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your marriage deserves. When frustration and difficulty assail your marriage, as they do to every relationship at one time or another, focus on what still seems right between you, not only the part that seems wrong. Well. This way, when clouds of trouble hide the sun in your lives, and you lose sight of it for a moment, you can remember that the sun is still there. And if each of you will take responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and happiness. You have come here today of your own free will, and in the presence of family and friends, have declared your love and commitment to each other. You have given and received a ring as a symbol of your promises. By the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Woo! Woo! Becky, you kiss your beautiful bride. Woo! <laughs> Um, congratulations, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Ramey. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. Love it. You want to say something for the... Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you. <laughs> and this is really weird because I'm talking to a camera, but they can't talk back but um they're they're commenting <laughs> <laughs> several likes already <laughs> yes thank you everybody for being here um i miss my family and friends a lot but i'm really grateful that you guys are here to support us today i couldn't have done this without you guys so thank you i couldn't have done this last two years i'm amazed i'm here so but I said it in our ceremony, uh, trust and believe. The universe will give you what you deserve if you just follow the path. So, thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we did it. <laughs> Time to let her rip. Let her rip. <laughs> <laughs> just real quick to the family and friends that couldn't be with us today, we just want to say thank you. Uh, we look forward to the bigger celebration later in the summer when Canada figures their stuff out. Yeah, yeah. I had to throw one jab. <laughs> and, uh, I love you all. So uh, thank you very much for joining us. This is the happiest day of my life, and I can't wait for this next chapter. So thank you for being here. Awesome. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, party's right on. Right on. Right on. Yeah. We, we just got here. So 